Well, it's tough for parents to find a place for their kids that have special cognitive, maybe some medical or developmental needs. Mm -hmm. And a place with loving care and support to help their kids unlock their potential. CRCC works with nearly 400 and children and their families in the area. Hey, welcome CEO and President Ann Constantino. Good to see you, Ann. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for coming welcome. in. Thank you. So would you give us some background on CRCC? Uh, mm -hmm. in, you, you've stuck to that acronym. You kind of rebranded a little bit. Sure. Uh, give us some background on the organization. Sure. Well, 27 years ago, uh, CRCC was founded by two amazing women, uh, Terry Fitzgerald and Christine Johnson, and they saw a need in our community to help meet the needs of kids with special needs, uh, mm -hmm. medical care that they needed that they couldn't find in other places. And so over the last 27 years, we've really expanded out to provide many different types of services. Not only do we provide day services for children from about seven o'clock in the morning till six o'clock in the evening, where we have RNs that are providing that medical care mm -hmm. and that support, but we also have therapy that happens at the same time. So occupational mm -hmm. therapy, physical therapy, speech feeding, um, and in addition to that, we have behavioral health that happens mm -hmm. as well. So many different programs. Lots. Why do you think that CRCC is so important to our community? So one of the, the pieces that is important for families that have children with special needs is they have a very complex life. Mm -hmm. And things that maybe we take for granted uh, can become really difficult for them. And so what we provide is that break for them in whatever way that, that makes sense for them. If it's they need to go back to work, or they need to just have a break so that they can be 100% there for their children when they are providing that care, we are there to help support them in that. Yeah, because what, what, some of the schools just are not equipped to deal with some of the kids in these situations, whether it's a medical need, cognitive need, uh, they just don't have the ability to, right. to, to work with those type of kids. And you brought in a couple neat pictures of the facility you wanna show uh, to us today. So we got some pictures, we'll put them up here, kind of to describe what we're looking at. So this is one of my favorite pictures that we have. We have a summer camp that is held every summer, and during that time, we have the Omaha Street Percussion Team come oh, out and work. We love them. We yeah, do too. They've been yes, on the show. they're amazing. Uh, work with our kids, and so in the um, courtyard area there, our children during the Omaha Street Percussion would be in there and be at it with those buckets. We were contacted by a young man in uh, Omaha that was working on his Eagle Scout project. Mm -hmm and he wanted to do something for CRCC. Mm -hmm. And so we said our children would absolutely love a percussion wall. Right. So that is exactly what that is. It's a percussion wall that the children can use year round. They can go out there and they can make sounds and noises and they can bang on those sticks. Uh, they absolutely love that. I see some pots, I see some pans, I see a washboard, I see some bells. There's all kinds of fun things on there. Absolutely, absolutely. And how does this kind of therapy, this therapy gym, help the kids that you serve? Sure. So when the children are oh, here, in... This is the therapy yes. gym, sorry. Yes. When the, when the children are with us during the day, uh, they are going through those different therapies that I was mentioning. Mm -hmm. That is a, one way to help simplify life for families because many times the children that we serve do need additional therapies. Right. And so when the, the parents or the caregivers pick their children up from our center, many times it's, I have to go to this therapy or I have to go to that therapy and their evenings are really full of more appointments. So when they're with us, they actually get all of those therapies mm -hmm. during the day with us. And so it really helps preserve some of that family right. time that they have in the evenings. And I thought that was a slide. That's not, that's a climbing wall. That is, a, that is. <laughs> that's a steep slide. I thought it was at first, but you don't want to go down with those Right, and, no, and, it's, no. and it is actually an adaptive structure as uh -huh. well, so that our therapists can use that structure in the therapies with uh -huh. the children. Now, right now, you're going through some rebranding. How are things changing at CRCC? Well, one of the things that isn't changing is the care that we provide right. the kids and the yes. compassionate care that has always been part of who we are. Mm -hmm. um, but what is changing is as we grew over the last 27 years, we recognized that the name that we used was not all encompassing. We serve children from six weeks of age up to the age of 21 okay. in all of those different areas that I mentioned. Yes. And so when we looked at Children's Respite Care Center, that was pretty narrow mm -hmm. of a focus for really the care and the services mm -hmm. that we provide. So what's changing is that we are going to be going by CRCC 
to help really uh, encompass, better mm -hmm. encompass, because we are skilled care for children with complex mm -hmm. needs. Let's get to, you have a couple of events coming up, and then their trunk or treat this weekend. Who can attend this trunk sure. or treat? So we would love to have any family that has a child with special needs mm -hmm. come and join us for trunk or treat. It's a way for children to participate, get their costumes on, but we do have some um, adaptations for kind of sensory and some of those kinds of things so that all children can participate in that. So everyone can come. What ages would you say? Is there a special age group for that? You know, we have children all the way from our infants to our 21 year olds okay. that come to that. And then your annual too. fundraiser just a few months away. A uh, quick preview of that, the annual fundraiser CRCC. Sure. So we are very excited. Um, Jeff Hansen, who is an artist mm -hmm. um, from Kansas City area, is going to be coming and joining us. He actually has had a uh, disability, a visual disability, but yet he makes amazing art. So he's gonna be coming uh, with, uh, to, to help celebrate this event on March 10th. Now, can Heart people get tickets to this? Caring. Sure, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Right. And the silver ribbons, I will note that um, most people don't understand or know that silver ribbons are the sign of children with special needs. Okay. So I that is that. kind of where we are tying all of that yeah. together. No pun intended. Right. No, we get it. We get it. We get it. Yes. CRC, CC is an important asset to the community. Uh, we had some very close family members who use the services, uh, doing amazing things over there. And mm -hmm. thanks for coming in well, today. Well, thank you yes. for we having us. Yes.